Yo and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector. Today is not really a tabletop showcase, it's more like a floor showcase. Uh, sitting here in front of the beast, and I just got a card today that inspired me pulling all of these out and looking at them and showing you another project. You know, I have a bunch of projects. <laughs> it feels like never-ending projects. This is definitely never-ending because it's Tops Living. And Tops Living is one of those things that just kind of keeps on going. And what I love about it is the 53 Tops look. I love that they're including new players, older players, you know, Hall of Famers, Rising Stars, you name it. They're all in this set and you can uh, get them relatively cheap. And so I've put together kind of a custom checklist for this of players that are obviously in the Hall of Fame or someday might be. Uh, and so I just kind of, they're in, on my personal checklist, there's 83 of these Tops Living cards that I'm going to try to get over time. This is certainly very low on the priority totem pole, but occasionally, you know, I'll go in and just search for Tops Living, and I got one uh, today in the mail that I will show you, or I'll point out which one that was that just said, hey, you know, I don't know that I've ever talked about this a lot, or shown certainly shown them all together, so I'm going to go through what I have, but first, I also got a TTM in today. Uh, I have been blessed. So many guys have helped me with, you know, how to do it. And I wasn't a TTMer for the longest time. And I've probably done 25 to 30 TTMs to this point. I am 100% literally getting every one of them back. And I, what I got in the mail was this one today, this 1993 Donruss Gallery of Stars. This is part of my, another project, my Dick Perez Master Collection, having every Dick Perez card of a Hall of Famer signed, sent this to Paul Molitor with 20 bucks, and it came back today. It maybe took a week and a half, something like that. Not long at all. So thrilled to add that. That'll actually go in that drawer of the beast because that's where all of these cards are held. All the Diamond Kings and other Perez Steel stuff. So let's get back to the tops living again. Uh, it's going on, you know, even now, Scott Rowland was released, I, I guess, this week or last week, something like that. So there's tons of guys, great cards in there. There's some key ones that I'm missing. But uh, again, I'm incredibly patient with this. It's just pick them up when you see them. And most of these were 10 bucks ish Several of them were under $10 delivered. So you're talking, <laughs> there's just not a lot of a lot of money in it. It's certainly not something I do for value. It's just because I love the 53 look. I love the consistency of it. And now, you know, it's been going on since 2018. So it's coming on uh, the sixth year, fifth year, sixth year of it. So let's go to the top and we'll show you, I'll show you what I got here. Uh, definitely not a Hall of Famer yet. And both these guys, Acuna I bought just because I wanted a rookie card of his, and I thought this was a cool one. I bought this at the 2018 National for $10, if I remember right. So, yeah, and then you got Ichiro, who will certainly be a Hall of Famer in 2025. I believe he's eligible. Uh, then you've got two great speedsters next to each other. Ricky Henderson, greatest leadoff hitter of all time. Jackie Robinson, of course. Uh, and I try to get nines or tens. So it's minimum of a nine grade. Try to get tens, and that's not terribly hard. These are new cards, so I'm trying to keep the glare off. There's Hank Aaron, Max Scherzer. Max Scherzer actually has several cards in this set. Uh, this is the only one I have currently. And then uh, finishing off this row is Ted Williams over there. Coming to row two, we've got Sandberg, Clemente, and a 10. I've got two Adrian Beltres, actually, uh, Top one there is a 10. The one below it's a 9. The 10 was given to me by, uh, I think it was Josh, rated rookie. And then I've got, uh, of course, the Babe, card number 100. That's in a Gem Mint 10. I've got Nolan Ryan there. Uh, Jim Tomey. And then Jim Palmer. So two gems right next to each other, Palmer and Tomey. And then we've got, now I know why I don't do showcases in here because of the glare. Uh, Griffey in a 10, Trout in a 10, 
two greats there. Uh, Tony Gwynn, Ernie Banks. Yep, even Harold Baines gets a Topps Living card. Vlad Guerrero Sr., Mike Piazza. Last row is uh, CC, who I think is going to get in when he's eligible. Maybe not the first year, but he's definitely going to be a Hall of Famer. 3,000 strikeouts. Then you've got uh, Honus Wagner, Jeff Bagwell. Now we're into 2020 Tops Living. And then the card I got today that inspired this was that Fred McGriff right there. That's actually the lowest print run of any of them I have. That's what another cool thing about this is there's, you know, uh, definitive print runs on each of these cards. McGriff is 1900 and something uh, versus say Mickey Mantle, which I don't have, which is like 14,000. So it can vary greatly on, on the print runs on these, which also makes it kind of neat. You know how many there are. Once they're done, they're done each week as they issue new cards. And so the idea, again, it's just, just kind of cool. And uh, I, I kind of enjoy picking these up every once in a while and keep working on that checklist. So thanks everybody for watching. Let me know what you think about Tops Living down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, I'm shocked it's still going for Tops. Glad it is. And uh, would love to hear what you guys think. Thanks everybody. Have a good one. Keep collecting.